right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to LWA Action here on KGNS, your good neighbor station. I am once again your host, Preach Caleb, sitting next to me. And the better host, Onyx, manager of champions. We've got some great, great matches coming up for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Onyx, we've got uh, some tag team action. We've got some hardcore matches and including a title shot for the LWA championship. Burhan. Held by your client, Burhan, the reigning champion. But right now, we're going to go straight into our first match. It is the Regulators versus Nightmare and Bully Master. Former clients of mine. Former clients. And it is a anything goes match. All right, we got the Regulators here taking on your former clients, Onyx, Nightmare, and Bully Master. Yeah, they didn't quite live up to my expectations, so I had to, I had to trim some fat. No pun intended. Oh, well, you know, it's it's it's, uh, it's a pleasure to actually see them back here. It's been a while since we've seen them here in the LWA. And now they are taking on the Regulators. They believe this was going to be a regular tag team match, but we know that when the Regulators are involved, anything goes. I've seen that firsthand. I know exactly what you're talking about. And now uh, the Regulators here, they're, they're not going to match Nightmare in terms of strength. Nightmare is just... It essentially is as big as both regulators put together. And quite unstoppable. Very unstoppable. I'll give him that. Oh, I believe he's the proverbial immovable object in this match right now. So what does that make Bully? I wouldn't know. He's some kind of a irresistible force, maybe? I'd say a pebble in the pond. Pebble in the pond. That's about it. And now Texas Joe. Oh, learning, learning from his past two mistakes. Elbow to the back of the head. But will it take him down? Let's find out. Elbow again to the back of the head. Oh, Nightmare wobbling. Wobbling towards the corner. Now into the ropes. Irish whip. Yikes. Nightmare reverses right into his own corner. Oh, squishes him. And now tags, tags in Bully him. Master. See what Bully can do. Smart move, smart move there. Okay, come on, ref. Interesting way to double team. And he shoves the ref. Where's the DQ? No DQ, remember? This Never is the regulators. Oh! There we go, Ace. Now Ace has had enough. There's a guy who should be wearing a mask. Ace has had enough and kicks the oh, ref. Oh, come on. I'd say let's ring the bell, but no DQ here. Yeah, no decency from these guys. Oh, here we go. Oh. I've been on the receiving end of that. Does not feel good. The ref is out. And now the regulators have taken control. It did not take long for this match to just oh, oh. devolve into a, into a brawl. Ace That's with that frying for. pan. And now our referee Anthony Silva is here to check on our fallen ref Dennis Cage. And looks like he's going to carry him out. At the, oh, Texas Joe trying to pull the mask off. Trying to pull the mask off, possibly along with Bully's nose. Makes you wonder, he still refuses to let go of that object. As he might have, I believe he might have played around with some crazy glue. And now he's embarrassed. I will tell you this, when he was my client, he had quite the toy collection. Oh, the barbed wire bat is in the ring. Texas Joe has brought in the barbed wire bat and a pail. Those are his versions of toys right there. Oh, right to the head. Right across the skull. Look at that. Bully Master. That was a severe, severe headshot by that pail. That, that is not. That is a steel pail. And now that oh, barbed wow. wire bat into the back. Oh, you can see it sticking into his back. It, could, it just stuck right in there. I'm sure there was some flesh attached to that. That is not very sanitary now. Oh, he's going for another one! And now, now Bully's got that tray possibly super glued to his other hand. Yet again. Okay, now he let it go. Or Texas Joe just took it away, kicks the bucket away, measures him right to the forehead. Right the between face. the eyes. Okay, measuring Bully's him again. Staggering. Oh, look at that. Look at that tray, just bent all out of shape. Could be over. It is over now. All he needs to do is just go for the cover. But I think he wants to hurt Bully. Figure four leg lock. Now where are the other two? I, I have lost track of where Nightmare and Ace are. I, I don't even know what sort of carnage and destruction they're causing somewhere. Bully wisely rolling out of the way. Rolling out of that move. Now he's got the bucket nope. and should have used it. There they are. Ah, here we go. There they are. Nightmare with that chair. Nightmare's got that chair. Ace, it. right on. Oh, Ace blocked blocks it. it. Ace blocked it. Oh, whipping him. Where'd he get that belt? He, I, these guys carry straps all over the place. He may have gotten it from an audience member. And now Nightmare. What happened to Ace? I think Nightmare ate him. 
I, I lost track of Ace. Oh, All no, I see he's is still there. there he is. Nightmare now. Now it's two on one. This is where, while they were your clients, they definitely excelled in the two on one advantage, Onyx. Yeah, I'll give them that. Bully Master is looking under the ring. What is he looking for? More more toys? I, I see he did drop that whiffle thing. Or it came unglued. It came. Is that a saddle? Yeah, apparently. What is he going to... Is he going to ride Texas Joe? What does he think he's doing with that? Knocks him over. I think that's what he's trying to do. Maybe he'll let Nightmare this, do it. This, no, come on. This is humiliating. This is. If Nightmare did it, he'd crush him. That's kind of what I was hoping to see. This is, this is beyond humiliating. And now he's choking him. Trying to rip that mask off. Texas Joe trying to get out from under that saddle. Okay, I guess it was it was almost Nightmare's turn. Ace coming in. Is he covered in blood? Ace is busted open. Ace has oh, been busted open. Go. Now Ace looking for his own toy. Now one thing I'll tell, I'll tell you about Ace. When that blood starts flowing, he becomes even more aggressive. He's very dangerous. When he smells blood, especially... Oh, no! Oh, oh no! He's got him right by the, uh, by, by, by the giblets. Ace. Ace is deadly with that nightstick. That Kendall stick. Kendall stick. And right across the back. Bully, bully. He's down. He should just crawl under the ring for safety. That is the safest place right now. That's what he does under best. under that ring. And now Texas Joe with that Kendall stick. Right awesome. across the back. Right across the exposed back of Nightmare. The one, the one lucky thing for Bully was he had that shirt covering, covering his back. Nightmare has no no protection whatsoever. You can see the welt starting to form on his back. What is what is that? In, something here. What is that in Ace's hand? Oh, oh thumbtacks. Thumbtacks on the chair. Nightmare. Does he see? Oh, he saw. Him. Let's Nightmare's see in for here. a world of hurt. It's two on one. The regulators working down Nightmare. He's trying to fight Nightmare. Back. Nightmare wants no more. The regulators are gonna suplex him. Onto the chair oh. and those thumbtacks! Oh. oh my goodness! Even the chair vanished. And now they're piling up on him. One, two, three. It's over. It. it is over. Oh, and he's just rolling around. On Nightmare this trying to get away. Oh, you can see them sticking out of his back. Now you can see why Bully Master and Nightmare lost, and you can see why I fired them because you see, they're not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. It was quite a brutal match. The regulators taking home the victory. Just destroying, destroying Nightmare and Bully Master. But I don't think that's the last we'll see of them here in the LWA. We'll I heard Nightmare's still picking out those thumbtacks. He probably is. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a quick break. And we're going to be right back with some more after this. What's up, Rasa? This is Fred the South Miami Medina with Tejano Express Sound System. In case you all need a DJ for the night sound system, give me a call at 956-744-7958. We specialize in Tejano, country, cumbias, international, of course, the latest grades and top hits. The time is now, Laredo. No more plastic bags. Set your sight on what is right. I'm an angel for nature. I'm turning the page on plastic bags. No plastic? That's fantastic. I am the gateway to a brighter future. Our family is the voice of Laredo. We will do our part. I love Laredo. Respect it. I can live without plastic bags. Can you? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. We've got our next match coming up. It is another tag team match, in fact. That's right. And you know what? I, I don't even want to say their names. Those guys make me uncomfortable. I'll let you introduce them. It is the Wangadangers versus the 361 Mafia, King Oso, and Pitbull Rue. Hey, come back. I got a stretch. 
Now you tell me this, Preach. Which one's which? Which one's Wang? Which well, this is a RJ Dang right there, stretching, stretching out the glutes. It was rubbing his back then. And then that's CJ Wang, making sure that uh, he doesn't pull a glute muscle. You hurt my belly, baby. If you pull a muscle anywhere, then you can't really wrestle at all. So I'm guessing with that last name, he must have um, Asian. He must be of Asian descent. I, uh, I have not asked him. About where, would, where would the name Dang come from? Dang it, who knows? There we go, Pitbull Roo, showing off the muscles. And it looks like, okay, playing a little mind game with uh, it works. King also here. Oh, whoa, whoa, and, um, and more tickling. King also obviously a little ticklish. Dang, having some fun. Anthony Silva, I don't, I don't even know if Anthony Silva can give him a warning about that. It's not exactly an illegal move. Nope. And uh, okay, there we go. Now, now uh, Pitbull Roo massaging his partner. See, this is this is all based on knowing your partner and making sure your partner is healthy and, and in a competitive state. He was tickled. He was well. What is, he was, what is there to check? You just making sure you know that the, he didn't tear anything. And now, dang, I think wanting a bit more show -oating. wanting to be pinned. King also doesn't seem like he wants that pin. Definitely. Okay, might want that pin. Oh, that was a. Good kick, stiff kick right there, and now caught him in a front face lock Yikes. and clubbing his back. Okay, I think King also has had enough of he, Wang and Dang's games. He was not pleased. Clubbing him in the upper back, definitely not pleased. Oh, and now oh, twisting, twisting that, that neck. neck. I think he's trying to pop it off at this point. I don't know if these are mind games from the Wang and Dangers, or are they serious? And oh! Also, also off his feet. Did not take. Oh, he, he's you know? disgusted. And now spanking, spanking him. Nothing illegal. Those are open hand chops onto the glutes. But he doesn't get out the corner. Oh. Now dang with his own open hand chops. And a rollover. So what do we call those One, rear, rear chops? Two uh, uh, rear open handed chops. Glutal oh, chops. The glutal chops. Ooh. Also, right into the corner, driving that shoulder. Right into the ribs. Right into the ribs of CJ Wang. And now, hip toss! Ooh. Incredible strength! Still Ooh. feeling it from those chops. You might have pulled a glute muscle those, there. Those rear end chops. Here we go. Knee, Knee to, the to the side. Knee to the right there. I would, I, I guess that's also his own version of spank. With and there it is, oh, he now is he is spanking him. him. I think CJ enjoyed that a little. It seemed to bring him back to life. Now he tags in Pitbull Roo. Oh, he's not Pitbull Roo's double axe handle. Into, oh, into an almost, uh, almost a camel clutch. Not quite. But he's pulling that, that head back. Showing the world. Showing the world. Doing doing. And now, oh. Brings him back up. Now they are, they are working the back of, oh, uh -oh hey, uh -oh. and now interference. Interference, it's just... Grappling it's just, from behind, I guess? Uh, that was an old Greco-Roman style grapple. He was going for a German suplex. I, th I believe so. And, uh, Couldn't lift him. And Wang wisely tags out. Let's see if he can do it again. This Oh, nope. European, European, European uppercut. uppercut. Two of them nearly knocking Dang's teeth out. And stepping on the throat. Stepping on the throat. Pitbull oh, Roo weighs about 250, 260 pounds. That is a lot of weight. To have on your on your throat there, snap mare. Where are they going with this? Tags in King Oso. Drop, Drop kick. kick right to the face. What's Oso gonna do? Oh, splash! Referee. Oh, oh, okay. Even the ref was distracted a little there. I think the ref got nervous. He did. I don't think the ref wanted to turn his back on on CJ Wang either. Sort of a sort tap. of a clutch here. And raking the face, Pitbull Roo, maybe now he's feeling a little amused. Well, they've got the upper hand, what do you expect? Tag, good ring position, keeping him in their corner. Rolling him over, come on ref, let's, let's, get, a, let's get a start a count there. Oh, they're setting him up for a double suplex. Double suplex! Now, I've heard that Pitbull Roo has a, a son named Kanga. That's uh, that's a good one there, Onyx. That is a good one. Hey, was that a low blow? Oh, I oh, don't. Whoa, whoa. Maybe low blows are not the smartest thing to do 
to the wang and dangers here. It appears they enjoy it more than they dislike it. Dang with his oh, he misses the splash. Wasted too much time. King also had time to recuperate, and he saw that splash coming and ducked out no of the way. Get out of that corner. It looks like they're gonna they're cutting him off, and again another interesting pin. Very unconventional pin. Tags in Wang, and um, what are they? I die. Is that a pin? Submission hold? I don't even know what to call it. Now, I guess that's a pin. One, two, also kicks out. Kicks out. Looks like he's having a little trouble breathing there, coughing something up. I don't even want to imagine what it was. I feel like we're yet to see uh, Wang's full full uh, potential here. Big leg drop from Wang. Right across the chest of King also. Tags Dang back in. And now some double we team. Go. That in him. One, one, two. Pitbull room. Ooh. Now Pitbull room. Pitbull room again, showing that strength, dragging his own partner into the corner and fakes a tag. Ah, smart move. Anthony Silvas heard a tag, but he did not him. see one. Another fall away slam. That's that's painful. That's a painful move. Also, oh no, what are they gonna do? Slapping the tummy. That's that is. Um, I'm speechless. Uh, can we air this? I just should we just blur out the whole match? I I think that would I'd have that would make it worse if we just blur it out. The I'm whole sure match. he's just testing the fabric of his. Uh, that's a pinch. You're not gear. allowed to pinch. Definitely not allowed. Oh, well, there we go. They, they've had enough. Ooh, a kick right to the back of the head. Ooh, Dimple Rue over the top rope. They've got the upper hand now. Let's see what happens. Dang. With a dive. Takes him and his opponent down. Oh, so checks on his partner. And now CJ with the roll up. One, two, three. That's it. You're winning. The Wang and Dangers have stolen this one. And he is so happy. Oh, my goodness. Look at that joy. Look what? at that joy. Um, uh, that's sort of a, a, a prayer. To pick up the ref. I think. You know, uh, let's that, hope so. That that's match was what he was trying to do. Conventional. I'm not sure what to think about it. it was, I, I think we're all a little, a little confused. Look, I'm stabbering, stabbering all over myself right now. I, I you know what I think it's time for. What? I think it's time that we see the hardcore champion Jeffrey Daniels in action. Up, you know JD, right? Yeah. He's got to defend the title 24-7. That's right. All right, well, he's over there saying no. Okay. All right, we're getting it. One. Come on, come on, Tim. Oh, Wait, Big 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 Where are you? Big Dog. Where are you? Big Dog. Rift. Rift. Hold on. Zapata Artisan or ya tiene tres locaciones para servirles, contando con los mejores servicios y precios para obtener un carro. Donde ofrecemos financiamiento en casa, no checamos crédito, compra aquí y pague aquí. Su trabajo es su crédito. Recuerda que todos son aprobados. Visítenos y compruebe por qué hacemos la diferencia. Sin Zapata, estamos listos para atenderlos en cualquier de nuestras tres locaciones, San Darío, Saunders y Zapata Highway. Recuerda que en cualquier zapata, no anda zapata, anda sin carro. Hey guys, this is Robert Michael from Robert's Magic Shop. If you're thinking about becoming a magician, you're serious about magic, or you just want to learn some tricks, you just have to come and check us out at Robert's Magic Shop, 801 Guadalupe, Laredo, Texas. You can also call for more information, 956-206-2415. You can also follow us on Facebook. Go on to Robert Michael Chapa Magic Tricks. Mystery and fun for everyone. This is Robert Michael from Robert's Magic Shop. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you again for joining us. Onyx, we are here. We are here at the main event. It is for the LWA Championship. The challenger, Spartan, named number one contender last week, taking on your client. Burhan, the Arab assassin. He has held the LWA title more than any other wrestler in the past two years. Going on almost nine months since October of 2014, if That's I'm not right. mistaken. Let's see if Spartan can topple the Arab assassin. There's no way. Who's that handsome devil right there with Burhan? Well, that uh, is Anthony Silva, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. You know who I'm talking about. Come on. Well, oh, that guy has no, Spartan. No. 
Jeez, even the camera guy's against me. I don't like this. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is for the LWA Championship. Your reigning champion, Burhan, defending his title against Spartan. There we go. L that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. It's always about that title. Pinfall or submission only, Anthony Silva is explaining to Spartan there. Same thing to Burhan. He knows that Burhan has the winner's advantage there. Burhan does not need to be Spartan. Spartan needs to beat Burhan. Hey, you know, that LWA title has been in my possession for a majority of the past two years. And if I'm not mistaken, it's been Burhan who's been the one holding Pre it. Precisely. He's held it at least twice, probably for a combined time of a year, maybe even more. Oh, he's been champ multiple times, but just from when I set foot in LWA about two years ago, he has been the reigning champ on two occasions. All right, referee Anthony Silva is checking. Burhan there. Yeah, they never trust my clients. And he checked them both. Huh? He didn't check Spartan. I he didn't checked Spartan. I saw it. I was looking. You were looking right at it. Spartan ready. Spartan is ready. He's been working out. He's working on his conditioning. He knows he's going to need his speed and his athleticism to take down Burhan to match Burhan's strength. Probably not a good idea for Spartan to try. Yeah, that power unmatchable. Just watch. And, uh, okay, now. Yeah, you see, now he's checking him. I told you. But he already checked him. What did Burhan insist on check? Can't trust him. Both these wars and okay, why why is the ref stopping him there? What what is going on? Burhan needed a break. He wasn't ready. Burhan, there's there's no breaks. Once the bell rings, it should just start. All right, here we go. Here we go, Burhan. Sort of. You can't help but feel he's mocking Spartan at this point. Towering over him. Look he's at that. towering over Spartan. Can he reach? Somebody get the man a stool. He's got at least a foot and a half height advantage, man. There we go. And he appears to have, it's a good foot and a half advantage, 30, maybe 40 pound size advantage, bridging him back. Spartan, Spartan needs to keep those shoulders off the mat. One, oh, he's got the left one up. One, How's that he's even got the possible? left one up again. One, Spartan, Spartan fighting back. Look at that strength, incredible strength by Spartan to get knee to the stomach. Elbow to the face, into the ropes, Irish whip, big clothesline. You cannot say enough about Burhan's clothesline. It is a thunderous, thunderous clothesline. It can bring any man down. Elbows, elbow right to the head. There's a reason he's been champ for so long. You're well, seeing it right here. Working, big hip toss. Almost tossed him right out of the ring, right into your lap there, Onyx. Tossing now like running toy. clothesline. And now again, tosses him across the ring. Corner to corner. Spartan, Spartan needs to start moving fast. Charging at him, look at that clothesline. Burhan is dictating the pace of this match. Spartan cannot keep up with this slow, methodical pace. Spartan needs to, big, big open hand chop. Loudest chop of the night. Spartan needs another one. Or is it that one? Spartan needs to pick up the pace. He needs to keep Burhan moving. He needs to tosses him once One more. more. Time. Three times. Third time is a charm. There you go. Burhan. Oh, wasted too much time. Wasted too much time there. Spartan caught him with the boot again. Twice. And now Spartan. Double boots. Come on, Burhan. Burhan down on one knee. Spartan elbow off the middle rope. Right Burhan still not down. Of course not. Forearm chop. Into the ropes, another forearm right in the jaw. Whoa. Kicks the knee out. Kicks the knee out. Burhan still barely down on one knee. Spartan has not been able to knock him over completely. Drop kick. Now Burhan down on his back for the first time in this match. One, two. He'll recover. There you go. Pushed him right off. Pushed him right off. That is the power and strength of Burhan. Forearm right to the side of the head. Another one right to the side of the head. Big right hand. Check the fist, ref. Ducks the clothesline. Hits the ropes. Oh, what's, what's he doing? He oh, no. Yeah, oh, there we go. Drops him right on his face. Burham feels it is over. Looks like it's One, over. One, two, kick out by Spartan. Not yet. Spartan. The still counts. Okay, don't, don't, do not put your hands on the ref. He's putting his hands on me. What do you expect? Don't put your hands. You do not want to get. And super kick. He super kicked oh, Burham. He caught him right under the chin. That was right under the chin. Spartan crawling over for the pin. One, two, three. Nope. Oh, come on, ref. Nope. Come on, ref. 
Oh, one, two, no. Oh, not yet. It that was too much of a distraction. With us. Burhan had time to recover. That was an incredible kick. Spartan caught him right under the chin. Had it not been for your distraction, Onyx, Burhan would have been down. Yeah, whatever he gets that win, that's all that matters. I don't care. Spartan trying to get back to his feet, needing the ropes just to get up. Burhan has been mounting, and here we go. He's getting ready. He's getting ready for another one. No, Burhan's Burhan not getting down up. on he's, one he's knee. Not. If Burhan gets up, he's going to catch another one. Another super nope. kick right to the face. And oh, oh, he is a very bright man. Smart move. Smart move by Burhan. Cannot deny him that. Forearm to the face. And we'll probably see that again. Just watch. Just a matter of time. Into the ropes. Catches him again in a bear hug. There oh. it is. That's one of his other trademarks. It's as good as over. One, two, three. another kick out. Another kick out by Spartan. Two. That was a that close. In case you're wondering, I'm translating for him because the ref doesn't know how to speak his language. Complaining about it is not going to do you any good. Spartan, setting up that him. kick. He's fine. He's, He's fine. fine. Onyx, Onyx, you are down. You, uh, you hit your knees hard. Oh, caught Burhan again, right under the chin. One, two, three, and it is over. We have a new LWA champion, ladies and gentlemen. Spartan that has match, defeated Burhan. That match should have stopped when he kicked me. How did it feel to eat a little super kick there, Onyx? You know what? I don't remember. You do not look happy. And I was swarmed by all those disgusting little kids. Referee presenting the oh. LWA Championship to Spartan. Our new LWA Champion. I think he almost kicked your beard off there, Onyx. Yeah, I, I think he did. I, I, he loosened a couple of teeth. We're just back to the fans. We deserve it. Not from that. Yes, yes, Leech. Get the board of directors on the phone right. Hold on, hold on. Get the board of directors on the phone. I want that rematch now. I don't I don't care if there's no show. Just make it happen. We'll make a show Honest happen. Word, we gotta finish I, the show. I'm I'm busy. Uh okay. On Onyx clearly not happy. Burhan has lost the LWA championship. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Spartan, you're a new LWA champion. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us here once again at LWA here on KGNS. Be sure to join us next week at 2 a.m. for some more LWA action. Catch us on YouTube, of course, at Ringside Chronicles. And be sure to check out our LWA page. Thank you and good night.